ಅವರು ಹೊಸದಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಣಾಳಿಕೆ ಬಿಡುಗಡೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ Now that's the Congress party releasing its manifesto. It's a very coordinated event. With Mr. Sudharamaya, Mr. G. Keshav Kumar, Randeep Singh, Sojabala, Mr. Kharge all coming together on one stage uh, seamless event. But this is just the front of it where the AV is not playing on you. The branding is just about right. Even the manifesto, the campaign will be sedated to what the Congress party would hope to perfection. But, like I said, this is just the front of it. There is a lot that goes on behind the scenes of bringing together a cohesive campaign for any political party. Gone are the days where uh, politicians or political parties just depended on door-to-door -door campaign. There's so much that goes on. Social media campaigns, branding, uh, what exactly the leaders have to say, all of that. Nowadays, there's a war room behind every political party planning its campaign and Now this is the Congress war room, the nerve center of the Congress campaign. But we're coming in from the BJP war room and I'm sure I don't really have to say it, uh, the stark difference between the Bharatiya Janata Party and the Congress. If uh, the BJP, you had posters, insignia, uh, well, Congress looks like a corporate office, the war room here. Uh, you don't see any posters, no flags, very different than the Bharatiya Janata Party. Everybody just putting their heads down, working away. I'm going to cut across and go to the man who runs the operations of uh, the Congress war room. Mind you, we, we have to say it. They're the only channel, the only network that has got exclusive access uh, uh, to their war room. They've thrown it open for us. Uh, and joining me is uh, Mr. Shashikant Sentil, who's a former IAS officer, left everything uh, for politics. Why did you leave uh, politics? And uh, why, why, did you, in fact, why did you leave your, uh, the services and enter politics? So it was obvious at that, that point of time that, you know, I had an... Uh, saying that, you know, I've seen how politics worked in coastal mm -hmm. Karnataka. I felt the country is going a different direction. Something needs to be done you about it. You were posted in coastal Karnataka? I was the uh, collector of the, uh, the collector Dakshin of Kanada, Mangalore. Mangalore, yeah. Dakshin Kanada. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, that's the hotbed of yeah. uh, communal polarization. And? So, when the abrogation of 370 and also this NRCCA right. happened, I think two officers we resigned from service in protest. In protest? Yeah, one was Kandan Gopinathan and one myself. What made you join the Congress? So I, you know, the, the idea of India, you know, if there is one party which has its ideology mm -hmm. as the idea of India, that is Congress, in my opinion. So I thought this ideology has to the be... The idea of India is not Narendra Modi right now, in Vijayanagar, Karnataka. Absolutely not. <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> All right. Uh, but with you, you also bring in uh, your uh, expertise in administration. Uh, you've been an officer yourself and you're now heading the war room. Would you tell us? Because, you know, I'll tell you why. Uh, it's very different than what we've come from. You know, when we were at the BJP war room, we had like life-size posters, uh, the lotus plastered everywhere, flags. It's very different. It looks like a corporate office I'm working into. Yeah. I think work doesn't require all those posters. What it requires is laptops and good hearts to work. I think we have that in plenty in this space. So this is the nerve center of uh, your entire campaign in Karnataka? Yeah. So we have a very dispersed model. Mm -hmm. We have a very distributed model because we have very clear-cut functional distribution. Mm -hmm. And we work in these functional uh, areas in different centers. And this is where we coordinate everything. This is where we uh, come for the end of the day coordination and all the uh, sections feed into this particular space. You know, what I'm, what I'm seeing is, and I'm, as, I, as I actually look around, so like there are like six regions in Karnataka, you have six regions here, I can see Kalyana, Kar Karnataka, Central Karnataka, Coastal Karnataka, Mumbai Karnataka. Yeah. So it's like a different election being fought in each cubicle. Yeah. So different uh, campaign strategy in each cubicle? No. no. Uh, we have a matrix model where we have different uh, functional structures, mm -hmm. but then we need people to specialize on areas also. Right. You, know, you can't be handling all the two 24 constituencies. Right. So we need people who specialize with candidates in that particular mm -hmm. area, the polling people in that particular area and stuff. So we have also an area, it's, quite, it's like a project in a company. So these guys right. are in some projects. Tell me something Shashikan, how do you, you know, counter the juggernaut that right that is right here, the Prime Minister Modi, where the BJP's campaign is all about the double engine and uh, he's uh, their uh, superstar campaigner. Your messaging has been more localized, more regional, hyper-local campaign. 
uh, is that uh, you know, and also more design? precise. What okay. is a double engine? Now, okay. We have five guarantees that we are going to provide, and mm -hmm. we are sticking to that promise. What does a double engine provide? And people have seen this double engine for the last uh, four, three, four years, and they've called it 40% Sarkar. Uh, I want to ask you right off the bat, like if, if they have Modi, who's your star campaigner in Karnataka? We, they have Modi, and yeah. and Modi has come now. Our leaders have been, you know, for example, Siddharamayaji, for okay. instance. When Siddhartha Ramaji starts speaking, you could see what happened in, in Davangere. The six lakh people around in the city. So he's a he's a he's a massive leader. Then we have DK Shivkumar, yes. who is a different kind of organizational man. So we have a multiple kind of you know bouquet of leaders right. with us, and they have been working for the last four months. It's not just ten days right. of uh, you know angles, keeping the angles proper. What's 150? That's what we had. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's the target. That's your target, 150. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nicely colored as well. <laughs> and uh, and it's all done in hand. It's not just printed, you know, because people here, uh, they they work with their soul. You take us through, yeah. uh, you know, take us through your uh, yeah, yeah. war room. Or no, what, what, what do you want to call it? Connect Center. Connect Center. So right. we have our, uh, you know, uh, the area where we do strategy, uh, we uh, do data analysis from this right. point. Okay. How do you formulate strategy, sir? This has been possibly the most keenly contested Karnataka elections in the last 30 years. So it's a do or die battle for the... For the Congress. For the Congress, but also for BJP. Okay. And uh, this is a do or die battle for the secular Karnataka. And uh, uh, it's a pitch battle on the streets. Hopefully all our inputs that which we get, we are going to formulate into actual messaging on the ground. Okay. And uh, the last bastion of uh, the secularism in, in, in South India is Karnataka and we hope to retain that.